Drugs and alcohol are a problem in the workplace. Here are some basic facts that broadly apply in all developed countries. A large majority of adults under 70 years of age with a drug or alcohol problem are in full or part-time employment. A significant percentage of the workforce, often quoted at around 10%, suffers from a drug or alcohol problem. Of all workplace fatalities, it is estimated that between 15 and 30% can be linked, at least in part, to alcohol or other drugs. Likewise, with non-fatal accidents, the percentage is similar. And people with drug or alcohol problems are between two to three times more likely to be absent from work. So what exactly is a drug or alcohol problem in the workplace? Simply put, it is when the use of drugs or alcohol affects a person's ability to perform their role in the workplace to a satisfactory level. Often, it is identified with issues related to productivity and issues related to safety. The cost of the problem is twofold. Clearly, for the individuals concerned, the cost of a drug or alcohol dependency can be severe and can lead to short and long-term health problems and obviously financial, social, and family issues. From the organization's point of view, lost productivity, increase in accidents, and costs related to insurance, compensation, and rehabilitation are just some of the issues that arise. So when and why should an organization become involved in the issue of drugs and alcohol in the workplace? There are three key circumstances that trigger an organizational response. First, if productivity is affected by poor performance and absenteeism, clearly the organization has some rights to address the problem and take appropriate action. Second, if the safety of anyone is put at risk, the organization has the right and obligation to ensure a safe workplace and must address the problem. And finally, as many drug and alcohol dependencies are expensive, the issues of stealing and drug dealing in the workplace clearly give the organization rights to take appropriate action. So what should an organization do to address the issue of drugs and alcohol? The starting point is to have in place a written policy for dealing with drug and alcohol problems. A written policy should be comprehensive but clear and should contain the following important points. 